Hi guys, this is Santosh Sharma. Today I am going to start Provider One series. Uh, based upon your comments and subscription, I will add more videos and will also think to publish more videos on checkpoint firewalls. I have started new channel for networking guys. Along with checkpoint, I will also start F5 Blue Code Proxy. Okay, so I would like to suggest you to please subscribe and share. Uh, this pic of checkpoint I have taken from internet. This is the checkpoint firewall, how it looks like. So, checkpoint provider one in this video, I will be giving you brief introduction about provider one. So, these are the course content. There are maximum of six chapters that I will explain, I will teach you. So the like the first chapter provider 170 deployment in this I will tell you about the overview of R70 benefits of provider and the second chapter MDS installation and configuration choosing the type of MDS like there are different type of MDS that we will talk later so in that which would be good how you will choose on that so licensing provider one how to install the license what are the system requirement for installing MDG, install the multi domain GU, GUI client, overview of multi domain that's the third chapter. In this, you will come to know about the general view, global policy view, well, that is graphical user interface. So, the fourth chapter is logging features in that log management, customer log module tutorial, multi domain log. So, related to logging features, I will explain in that. Fifth is assigning global policies, uh, global policies to VPN, how you will install that. Last chapter that is advanced MDS functions. In this like CMA high availability, MDS high availability that is really very important because uh, HA is very important and nowadays if one device will go down you would be requiring alternative so that is HA. MDS clock synchronization, backing up a CMA, MDS archiving utilities, restoring the MDS, all this will be covered in MDS advanced functions. The first thing that I would like to tell you is why we require provider one. That would be your first question also. What is the need of provider one? Where we can use this? So the simple answer is in your diagram like in diagram there are so many firewalls at distinct locations if MSP admin has to go each and every firewall login and set the firewall policy then it's just a waste of time and remembering the username the passwords and IP address to login is really a hack see there are how many firewalls are there one two three four five five firewalls are there and one administrator is there suppose he has to implement some policies of pharma he will log into the pharma gateway that's in red color and uh, do the implementation and the next he if he has to do the same thing for bank branch one branch two pharma two so he has to go each and every firewall log in it and also search for the ip addresses and he has to implement the policy but what will happen if the case in the case the firewalls are so much not five like in that case there are 100 firewalls also like in this diagram there are a lot of firewalls that is a banking network in banking you can take example of Punjab bank or SBI bank or standard Chartered or any bank they are having a lot of branches and even in single state they are having hundred of branches so the bank security is very very important so they are always having a security gateway with very much high policies so like in there that is shown the internal network of Atlanta branch that is an example and this is New York branch and uh, that is Mexico so that is their branch and this is so as I so it is very difficult as I told you to manage each and every firewall while going log login into the firewall and thus just implement their policy remembering all those passwords is really very very difficult so service provider need a management tool designed to specifically address 
the unique challenges of the large scale private customer management. These different and unconnected customer systems must be centrally managed. Different customers or the same customers are having different branches. They should be centrally managed. That is called a good network. Yet the MSP must also maintain the privacy and integrity of each customer system means all the customer can be managed from single platform or device we can say like provider one but they will not be connected with each other like their information is separate and secure for an example that I shown you the network of big bank suppose that is not a big bank that is okay these are the bank but these are the different bank Atlanta branch suppose it is PNB bank New York branch that is some Royal, Royal RBS bank Royal Bank of Scotland and uh, Mexico as an American bank so these all banks data should not be interconnected like RBS should not be able to see the data of SBI or PNB but the administrator can manage their policies. MSP must be able to flexibly manage security policies. Customer cannot be assigned the same security policies to RBS, to American Bank. They should be given a different policies. So that functionality should be also there. Like uh, sitting in a single platform, you can do these all things also. So the provider one system is designed to manage many many widely distributed gateways for a network that may belong to different customers different companies or different corporate branches like in this this there are different corporate branches same bank the primary element of security system is gateway you can see the security gateway security gateway is you can see the firewall all are having that red one is a security gateway so administrator decide how this gateway is to be managed and apply a security policy with rules that determines how communication is handled by security gateways uh, okay guys that was a brief of provider one in the next video I will describe in detail please subscribe for more videos about checkpoint provider one thanks have a nice day bye